Hello, everyone. My name is Armin, and welcome back to our program, Women and the Bible. We are discussing women from the Bible to see which character is the best, which one to follow, which one to make ourselves to be like you. And in this episode, we will be talking about Mary, Jesus' mother. She was a virgin, and she is so blessed. Would you like to be blessed? So let's have a look and see how does blessing come. So we will read Luke chapter 1, starting from verse 26. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town of Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. So far it doesn't really say what did she do that she was favored so far. But think that God had a big plan and God will be using her. It, is, it means it's a big favor. You, God chose you as well. God chose you to be his favored one. But do you agree? We will see later if she agrees or not. It's not that easy to be chosen one. Not easy to leave everything and go after God. Because God comes in the middle. As we see, she had her own life. We all have our own life. We have a plan for us. We have a job. We have a house. We are going to get married. As we see, Mary was pledged to marry. She had already someone groom, and she had her plans. She had her future. We have our future in our thoughts, in our minds. We are deciding we will do this way, we will do that way. We will go to this job, then apply to that job. We will go to this university for our children. We are deciding he will, I want him to be a doctor. I, the other one I want to be, I don't know, maybe engineer. But once you, God sends you angel, once you hear from God, please put everything in the feet of Jesus. Put everything and say, I'm your servant. Be able to adopt yourself to God's purposes. Because everything that in this world will uh, fade one day, you will not take anything with you when you go to heaven. So please follow God. It's good to have plans. It's good to make decisions. It's good to have uh, in mind our future. But once you hear God's call, please stop. Verse 28, I'm repeating. Angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Lord is with you now. He, and he's talking to you now. And he's saying that you found the favor in his eyes because he shed his blood for you. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ shed his blood for you because you found favor in his eyes. Not because you are so nice. Not because you are favored beautiful or you are so wonderful just because you are his daughter his son maybe if you are you are a male you are his child and he shed his blood just for you to be saved we found favor in his eyes and he came and he is with us lord is with us and verse 29 mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be when God comes, really, we get troubled. We are thinking, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I did something like very, very big deal and evil. What did I do? Or maybe I need to, I don't know, to change my whole name and the family. What happened? She was very troubled. Don't be troubled. And here we see, but the angel t said to her, don't be afraid. God is telling you in the Bible, I don't know, 350 times for every day, he says all the time, don't be afraid because God is with you. Once you call his name, he is with you. He is beside you. He is inside of you. He is there to help you. Just open your mouth. Even don't, You don't need to open even in mind. 
in like in Hannah case when we discuss you will see that all she did she was thinking and God answered her once in, inside you say Jesus come and help me he is there give me strength he is giving so verse 31 you will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. Imagine you in case of Mary. Have you ever put yourself in, 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 the, in her place? Wow, angel came to me and he said that I found favor first of all. Yes, amen, you found the favor. And he says, I will uh, give a birth to a son. He will reign forever, his kingdom. He will be a king. All oh, thoughts are coming, coming, coming. And also maybe Mary started to Im imagine her ways. Maybe God is telling you something and you say, yes, I will go to this country. I will do to that way. Maybe God is want, wants me to use the, this, another case. Listen further and ask God. We will see now. And uh, in verse 34, how will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I'm a virgin. If you have a question, ask that God, but don't like argue with him like Moses did. He was arguing, no God, how it can be, I cannot talk properly. No, it's not the same case. Here, Mary was ready to accept whatever God tells her. Open your heart and prepare it for God. God's word to come and be fruitful there. Once God says this way, if you don't understand anything, ask God how it can be, but in faith, believing that whatever God says is the truth. Don't argue with God like Moses kept saying and kept saying, 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 oh, but I am this, but I cannot do that. People will not listen to me. People not, will not do that. To Leave everything to God. You can't change God, uh, people's hearts. Believe me, no matter how beautiful you talk, how beautiful you look, it doesn't matter. You cannot reach heart unless God opens the heart for you. So surrender yourself to God. Whatever he tells you, exactly as instruction, you follow. And uh, just uh, Mary was a little bit troubled. She didn't know how it will be. Believe me, when you don't know and ask God, he will give you. He will give you the comfort. He will talk to everyone. And she asked, since I'm a virgin, her question was right. She could think, yes, I will marry Joseph, whom I'm pledged to marry, and we will have a son and this and that. But God said, no, you will have now before you marry, because I want that son not to have genes of the man, not to have the curse inside because he will save his people. He will come and be a saver. God chose us to be like small, I wouldn't say saviors, but uh, the shadow, the people, the tools that he can use us to save people through Jesus. Because how people will believe if they don't know. We need to be the tools, as Mary was the tool that Jesus was born. Be the tool that Jesus is born in someone else's heart. And uh, be trusting God. Believe in God. Have faith. And any instruction you get, please follow them and you will be blessed. And be blessing to all people around you. The angel is answering. He doesn't say no, you shouldn't know. God is answering you. Once you ask, you pray. Prayer is a talk to God. Talk to God and he will answer you. He will not say, no, I'm so high, you are so low. No, he needs us to talk to him. And the angel answered, verse 35, the Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Anything God has planned, if you don't find it hard, God will give you the power. Not from our power, but from his power, he will give you and he will bless you and will make you succeed. If there is a plan from God, say, I'm going. Like Mary said, 
uh, we will read later because I would like to continue with Angel's words. She is agreeing. Agree with God. Leave your thoughts. Leave everything. She didn't say, but how come my uh, groom will be upset? He will say, what are you doing? It, he didn't trouble her. She had faith. She trusted that God will take care of it. If God has a plan for you, I'm sure he has. He will take care of everything. Just you take care of that you follow all he says. Because he is the redeemer. He is the savior. And he needs to be born in everyone's hearts. And in verse 37, for no word from God will ever fail. If you have a word from God, wait for it. It will never fail. I may fail. Someone else may fail. But God's word will never fail. Follow it. Hold on the word. If you find the trouble, you say, God, I believe the word you gave me. Hold on it and you will not fail. If you don't hold the word, you will fail. And later we see that God talks to Joseph too. The one that uh, Mary needed to marry. God talks to people and the circumstances. He changes according to his plan. According to his plan, he makes everything smooth. The only issue with he, in this case is, is our heart ready? Please prepare your heart so when God talks, you listen. Sometimes we close our ears and say, no, we didn't. No, open your heart. I pray now for God to open your heart. I pray now for God to put his word, his plan into your heart and give you strength and power and wisdom and faithfulness. And be blessed in Jesus' name. And let God work through you and by you and in you. Have a blessed day.